क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव अ लाइट रे एंटर्स थ्रू अ राइट एंगल प्रिजम एट पॉइंट पी विद द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस थर्टी एस शॉन इन फिगर इट ट्रावल्स थ्रू द प्रिजम पैरल टू इट्स बेस बी सी एंड इमर्जिस अलॉन्ग द फेस ए सी द रिफ्लेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ द प्रिजम इज सो फर्स्ट लेट एस ट्राई टू एनालाइज दिस फिगर सो हियर अ लाइट इज एंटरिंग वेट हियर लाइट इज एंटरिंग एट एन एंगल थर्टी विच इज लेबल हियर ओके देन इट एंटर्स हियर and the light goes like this and it moves parallel to the surface so when the light moves parallel to the surface the angle of emergence is 90 degree right the emergent angle is 90 degree and also in the given question this angle is 90 so here a is 90 and uh, we know that whenever the light moves parallel to the surface means whenever the r is 90 for this two surface this is this is angle of refraction means the incident angle the incident angle is nothing but a critical angle so here r2 angle is critical angle and for critical angle we can write sin ic is equals to 1 by refractive index the same fact we are using here so from figure i is equals to 30 a is 90 emergent is 90 and r2 r2 is our angle of uh, r2 is critical angle now from the theory we know that r1 plus r2 is equals to angle of prism so if you make r1 as a subject you will get a minus r2 where a is 90 and r2 is critical angle so it is 90 minus ic now what we are doing we are applying snell's law to this first surface that is surface ab so snell's law is n1 snell's law is n1 sin theta1 equals to n2 sin theta2 so n1 it's air So for air we are writing one and angle of incidence is thirty so sine sine thirty is one by two n is the refractive index of the prism and sine r one right now what is r one sine r one is this angle right here so r one is nothing but ninety minus ic so ninety minus ic or ninety minus r two any of the two you can put so one by two is equals to n ninety minus theta is cos theta now uh, cos theta is equals to under root one minus sine square theta we are using that okay. and uh, again we are squaring on both the sides so 1 by 2 is uh, 1 by 4 and become n square and this is 1 minus sin square theta now almost we are done with this solution now what we are doing is sin square theta is nothing is 1 by eta sin theta is 1 by eta because here sin ic ic is r2 is a critical angle r2 is a critical angle and for that critical angle we can write sin ic is equals to 1 by eta so here sin square is a uh, sin square r2 is 1 by n2 square 1 by n square or eta square whatever you can write now multiply this inside it becomes n square minus 1 equals to 1 by 4 just rearrange you will get refractive index is equals to root 5 by 